A simple design is one of the calling cards of the Tesla Model 3 and Y at this point. These are fun and effective cars, and part of the fun with that can be improving on them with accessories. Regarding storage space as well, the Model Y and 3 have more storage than the average car their size. This is a result of them being electric and well engineered, so there are great ways to optimize those spaces that are typically just open areas. All of these areas can be optimized with some pretty simple accessories, and there's a lot that you can do to customize your Tesla. So today I'm going to break down the must-have accessories for a Tesla Model Y and 3. I'm also going to add in a couple pretty cool new ones, like these buttons that I liked way more than I expected. These cars are very similar, but differ in certain ways, so I'll be sure to note when there are separate links for each accessory. Each will be linked in the description below in the order I present them in this video, so let's get into it, and a special thanks to Hills for sponsoring a portion of this video. First up is the updated version of the number one accessory for me always, all-weather floor mats. Tesla cars include standard carpet floor mats, or none at all. After some serious use, these will require shampooing, and they won't really help too much in the rain. They also likely aren't protecting your interior that much. Even living in California, these have proven ineffective, so the best solution here are all-weather floor mats. Tesla sells their own version of these, and there are a variety of options out there, but the best ones I've found for the Model 3 and Y come from 3D Max Spider. I love these because they're specifically designed for each car, perform very well, and have the perfect texture. They're also very lightweight. The texture blends functionality with a great feel under your feet, which usually isn't the case with most all-weather floor mats. Most of the time, they're hard rubber, and then water will slosh around. These trap water are lightweight, soft, and are designed for every part of the car. I've used them for a few years now on various cars, and they are very easy to vacuum or wipe down with some simple interior spray. These right here are the new 3D Max Spider Elitect mats for the front and rear footwells, and they improve on the already great mats with even deeper channels, higher sidewalls, and more. Those are great and absolutely worth getting if you only plan to buy those, but what I particularly love about 3D Max Spider mats is that in addition to standard mats covering passenger areas, they make mats to protect pretty much everywhere in the car. Here I am unboxing a full set which includes 12 individual mats. I have a mat to protect the plastic front trunk bin, the front and rear standard mats, mats to protect the inside of the small and large understorage compartments in the Model Y, mats for the base of the side cubbies, a trunk mat, and my personal favorite, seat back mats. One of the best parts of the Model Y is folding the seats down for immense cargo space. However, even with the basic trunk mat, the minute you fold these seats down and load in cargo, the back of the rear seats is subject to damage, scraping, tearing, or more depending on what you're loading in. These seat back mats are designed specifically for the backs of these seats, fit perfectly, and stay in place perfectly when folding up or down these seats. That way, when I load in cargo, which I do a lot, every part of this car's interior is protected. I'm often loading drums into this car, and these have become essential for me. I definitely recommend the complete set of this for the Model Y because it covers everything you need, but they also sell smaller packages, and then they have them available specifically for the Model 3 as well. Each are linked in the description below. Next is an accessory that may be legally required depending on where you live, the Quick Bandit. Teslas are clearly designed without a front license plate in mind, so in turn they include a simple plate mount that attaches with 3M tape for the Model 3 or Y. Overall, it's meant to be a permanent solution, and removing it could cause issues. That's where the Quick Bandit comes into play. This is a simple yet high quality bracket that attaches to the front lower vent on the Model Y or 3 and places a license plate in the perfect spot. For myself, I film a lot with these cars on this channel, so I remove the Quick Bandit for filming and then I put it back on after. There is also a security screw included to lock the plate in beyond the built-in lever and prevent anything from happening to it. I have this on our Model 3 and I have it on our Model Y and both have served me very well. I drive with a front plate since it's legally required the majority of the time, and then I take it off when filming with these cars. If a front license plate is legally required where you live, it's a huge improvement over the bracket Tesla includes with your car in my opinion, and I highly recommend it. The design does differ between the Model Y and 3, so make sure you buy the right one, and they're both linked below. The next essential accessory is a screen protector. With any Tesla, and especially the Model Y and 3, your screen controls most of what you do in the car. 
Almost all controls happen on the center 15 inch touchscreen included in these cars. And if anything were to happen to it, it would be a necessary and expensive repair. It's a strong glass screen like a smartphone, but it's always a good idea to protect that screen. And it comes with other advantages too. It's very cheap to replace this screen protector as opposed to the screen. So that's worth it right there. The other reason to get a screen protector is to keep the screen clean and free of glare. The default screen is a fingerprint magnet and those fingerprints don't stick nearly as much on a matte screen protector. Additionally, with that matte screen protector, glare is drastically reduced on the screen. Overall, it's a great purchase to protect your screen, make it easier to clean and help you avoid fingerprints and glare. The next accessory for today comes from today's sponsor, Hills. Hills makes high-end Tesla accessories and they sent me this wood trim kit to test out. I got the center console cover and dashboard trim covers in walnut, but these come in a bunch of different colors so you can make your Tesla experience unique to you. Let's install it and check out a before and after. So first I have the center console cover and I have it in walnut. So what I like about this is that it's a nice little thin piece of wood that I will place on the console here as opposed to it being like a wrap. So I have this piece which goes right here, second piece right up here. So the back here has a little adhesive. I'll just go ahead and gently peel this off. I just love that it's a solid piece that I can line up like this. So we got the first one in here. It's on there nice and smooth. And now we're gonna get the second one. Two pieces back here. So it still takes a second to install this, but it's much better than a wrap. Next, we're gonna install the dashboard cap cover here and also covers for the door panels. Okay, so here is the cap cover for the dashboard. Again, what's nice about this is that it's an actual piece of wood with 3M tape on the bottom. So I'm just gonna be able to adhere this on to the dash. So this is what it's going to look like once we're installing it. And then it has these little pieces that go right on the ends. The last piece we have is the door panels. So let's open that up. Now I'm gonna install this one. All the adhesive tape is ready to go. Line it up with the existing white one. And there we are. This one was particularly easy to install and that is nice because it just continues the line from the dashboard wood that we now have. And let's see, door should close normally, but let's check. Yep. As you can see, these are a great way to add your own unique touch to your Tesla interior. As you can see, this came together really nicely and looks seamless and basically like an OEM accessory. I love the way the walnut looks now and the fact that my dash matches the center console. To me, that kind of completes the wood look for this car and I love the walnut in particular because it's darker than a lot of other shades. To check out these products for yourself, they are linked in the description and comments below. Next is a fun accessory that won't be for everyone, but can fit the bill depending on your taste, the Cyber Backpack. This backpack is clearly inspired by the shape of the Cybertruck, but it has actually become one of my favorite backpacks. I expected it to be a fun gimmicky design, but it has a hard durable shell, anti-theft features, charging ports on the bag itself, a TSA lock, hidden pockets, and more. My 16 inch MacBook Pro fits in there no problem, and it looks great in either color that they offer. It also seems to be appreciated anywhere I wear this backpack. I think it's a great blend of cool looks and functional design, and it's linked in the description below. Next up is a very cool accessory that somewhat puts buttons back into your Tesla, but in a very customizable, seamless way. These are the S3XY or sexy buttons from Enhance Auto. They come in a package with the commander that links to your car itself, and here's the install and setup process. So first we need to remove this panel right here on the back of the center console with the tool provided all the way, there we go. And now we have in here, this cable, which is what we're gonna be attaching to. And there, fits right in. And then we try to put that as flush as we can, and then this is gonna be hanging out. And this is what our commander attaches to, powering up. Now I have the app by Enhance right here, and I'll click connect. And I have the bundle with the commander, that is what I'm connecting to. And it looks like it found it immediately. Now one really cool thing about this is that the features like regen braking actually are features you can't control even on screen in a Tesla. So these kind of bypass that and let you control that if you want. So now I'm gonna connect my first button here. Let's start with the S. Press and hold a button until it connects. There we go, button S. Okay, and now this button is set to open the glove box automatically. I can obviously change that 
but let's see how that goes. Bam, open the glove box. One thought I had with these buttons is because it's connected through this whole thing and you're kind of using a phone app, it might be slow, but opening the glove box has been really quick. Let's test out some other features. All right, I have my four buttons configured as I want them right now, and it's really amazing how many options I have in here. And here's the button itself. So the first one, I have open glove box. One click opens the glove box, and then two will open the charge port. Pretty cool. Now my second button is one click will open the trunk. And then two is gonna open the front trunk. And then I can do one again to close the trunk. My third button I have set to battery preconditioning. And this is one of those things that you normally can't actually access. The only way to precondition your battery is for the Tesla to automatically do it when you're routing to a supercharger, but here you can do it on your own. Another feature in your Tesla is auto side mirror dimming. And that's one of those features that you can either turn it on or off on auto, but you can't just dim them. But this button will automatically dim them for me. So once you've decided how you're gonna configure these buttons, there's adhesive on the back that you can peel off. So I'm gonna stick this button right here. This is for opening the trunk and front trunk. So now whenever I need it, I can just click once, my trunk's gonna open. And what's awesome too is if I change my mind later, I can just totally reconfigure this button in the app for a single or a double press. And then once you have them all kind of decided, it comes with all of these stickers. So there's actually a trunk open sticker right here that I can put on here to indicate exactly what this button is for. There we go. A lot of Tesla owners are big fans of the fact that there are not that many buttons. So these buttons may seem counterintuitive to you, but if there's like one little feature that you want to change or you wish you had easier access to, this can do that. Or if you want to access things like battery preconditioning, this can do that as well. For me, things like the glove box are things that it's like, I don't really want to navigate to a menu just to open the glove box, especially since that glove box location on screen has changed over the years and it still takes me a second to figure it out. It'll be nice to have a little button for that. So these make it super simple. It was pretty easy to set up and now I can configure these exactly how I want for a single or double press. To check these out for yourself, they're linked in the description below and the link will automatically apply a discount code on your purchase. Next up is an essential accessory for keeping your tires inflated, the Fantic X8 Apex. This is a very small, smart air pump that only weighs 1.87 pounds, but delivers delivers a max pressure of 150 pounds per square inch. It also has five smart inflation modes. The best part about it for me is that I can set it and forget it. I walk around to each wheel, set my desired pressure, and it cuts off automatically when it reaches the right pressure. I can easily maintain the pressure on all my tires on one charge as well, and then charge it back up over USB-C, which I can do in the car itself. For me, this is by far the easiest way I've ever seen to keep my tires inflated properly, and it'll fit easily in the Model Y or 3. You can definitely store it completely out of sight without taking up much space at all. It's linked below. Now, sometimes a tire inflator won't do the trick fully. Sometimes you do have a flat, but neither the Model Y or 3 come with a spare tire. Instead, Tesla's opted to eliminate the spare, save the weight in the car, and have customers rely on roadside assistance. For many customers, this is fine, but for others that may not be in a situation where roadside assistance is enough or even available, that's where the modern spare comes into play. These are specifically designed for the Model Y or 3, can easily store in the car, and may be exactly what you need when on a long road trip or driving to a less populated area. Again, these are specific to each car and both are linked below. For me personally, I like to have it on hand, but not keep it in the car at all times. One fun small accessory while we're talking about tires are high quality air caps. Tesla's tires include simple plastic ones like we're used to, but these are easier to use, look better, and add the Tesla logo. I think they're a nice, very simple upgrade to the exterior of your Model Y or 3. Next up are two accessories that are fairly new to me for mounting a phone and an iPad. First is the phone mount for the Model Y M3 that detaches to the back of the center display and has a lot of flexibility. If you find yourself needing your phone for maps or anything else while you're driving, it has 480 degrees of total rotation since it includes a 360 degree swivel ball and a 120 degree hinge. It's incredibly flexible as to where your phone can be mounted or positioned at any given moment. Additionally, there's a wireless charging option for this mount so that while it's mounted up there, it's charging without you needing to plug in a cable. It pairs well with your Tesla screen and is very easy to use. The install process itself is very easy as well since it comes with packaging to specifically help with the alignment of your mount and charger. 
I think this is the most versatile phone mount you can get for your Tesla specifically, and it can be great to have for all of the situations you find yourself needing to mount your phone in, whether it's landscape, vertical, or otherwise. As a rear passenger in the Model Y, or 3, there is of course no screen right now. If you want to provide rear seat entertainment though, this simple clamp will get the job done. It clips into the rear seat of the Model Y or 3, clamps onto an iPad or another tablet easily, and immediately puts it in the right position for a drive. This would be handy for a rear passenger on a road trip, and I'd argue that this actually is a better neck position than they're putting on the new Model 3 Project Highland. Then you can just take the iPad out when you're done. As a kid, I can't even imagine having this, and it's as simple as a clamp and an iPad. In a second, we'll talk about keeping our Teslas smelling clean, but first we want something on hand to vacuum them easily. Luckily, there are a few great car vacuums out there from Fantic. This is the brand new Fantic V10 Apex and has become my new favorite. It's a very small but impressive car vacuum that delivers strong suction and battery life. It includes various cleaning accessories and can absolutely get the job done when you need to vacuum up your interior. This, paired with the floor mats I mentioned earlier, work great. I love this one because of its versatility. I can get it into pretty much anywhere comfortably because the nozzle pivots 210 degrees. Then, of course, it charges easily over USB-C. If you want a slightly cheaper option, the V10 Mate is also available. They're both great and are linked below. Here's a quick fun one, a mini Matchbox Model Y. If you really like your car, this could be a fun accessory to have, and they go in and out of being in stock. Next up, to keep your car smelling fresh, my favorite air freshener option comes from Scent Wedge. Scent Wedge makes natural air fresheners that fit perfectly into the invisible AC strip on both the Model 3 and Y. They also make them for the rear vents and have scents like Coastal Forest, Big Sur, and more. Each freshener kit they sell also plants a tree. So they are natural, smell better, are sustainably sourced, and help the environment by planting a tree. On top of that, they're hidden from view and super easy to install. They have a lot of great scents to choose from, and you can check them all out linked below. I'm currently using Coastal Forest in my Model Y. That's my favorite option. However, if you prefer standard vehicle air fresheners, you'll find one problem pretty quickly. There are no vents to clip them to. That's why something like Scent Wedge, which is designed for the Model Y, is great to have. But if you want to use standard clip air fresheners, in comes this little accessory from Spigen. It's a simple adapter that slides into that AC strip on each side of your dash, sticks with light adhesive, and functions as an adapter for standard car air fresheners. It's a super easy install and will let you use any air fresheners you have on hand. If you have an older Model Y or a current Model 3, you'll find that these cars include standard Tesla air filters. Two of these make up the filtration in the car, but the Model Y, S, and X now all include a HEPA filtration system standard. If you want to get a little taste of that upgrade, you can purchase these HEPA filter replacements. They use activated charcoal to combat bad odors and are a great improvement over Tesla's standard filters when you need to change them. To me, these are all the accessories I use most often to keep my car clean and fresh, but I'll talk more about some cleaning products a bit later. First, let's talk about storage optimization. The Model Y has a front trunk, side door pockets, center console, armrest, two side cubbies, and two under storage compartments. Each of these can be optimized, and then there is storage in one place you might not be expecting. First though, let's talk about the center console storage. The center console and storage under the armrest offer deep open storage compartments in the Model Y and 3. They are nice to have, but have plenty of room for optimization. That's where these center console organizers come into play. They are designed specific for the center console and the organizer in the center console becomes a sliding drawer. You have dividers and then this drawer can slide completely out of the way, allowing you to get to whatever's underneath it. That's linked below, but the armrest console organizer fits in there as well, helping you to keep small objects close by. Those come in a package together, and you can also get this hidden storage compartment that installs on the underside of the armrest. This is great for keeping things that you want specifically hidden, and it opens easily. My favorite versions of these are linked below, along with a Tesla Rati bundle that includes these and a few accessories we already talked about. However, those are the simple versions of each of these. If you find yourself wanting a center console organizer, but also want easy access to your console's USB-C ports, that's where this combo comes in. Jawua makes a console dock that interfaces perfectly with their own organizer so that you get the best of both worlds. The dock is simple, plugs right into the USB ports, and provides you with two USB-C ports, one USB-A port, and a light for the console that are all very easily accessible. It further has two more USB-A ports at the bottom of it. 
Then you take their console organizer and slide it right in next to this. It slides in and out and doesn't conflict with the dock that you have. I personally think this is one of the best setups and the light is super useful to have when finding accessories deep in your center console. The package of these two is linked below. Lastly, for the center console, if you prefer to have accessible USB ports at any time, they make this mini hub. It fits right on the first inch of where the center console drawer slides, provides two USB-A ports, one USB-C port, and a light for the console. If you already have a center console organizer, this might be your smartest option to add easily accessible USB ports. The front trunk on the Model Y and 3 is incredibly useful. It's larger than many front trunks from other brands, but for me, because it's entirely manual, it ends up being a place where I keep things that I don't always need access to. That's where this front trunk organizer tub comes in. This drops right into the front trunk and immediately gives you a variety of places to store different items instead of it all getting jostled around into one big mess when you drive. I personally think that this is the best use for the front trunk and it's a great place to store things like the mobile connector, cleaning products, that car vacuum I recommended earlier, an air pump, or anything else. Next are two small but useful storage optimization accessories, side door pocket organizers and side cubby tubs. The side door pocket organizer fits right into the side door pocket to protect that liner and give you an extra replaceable and cleanable barrier if you were to spill something in that door pocket. Those are linked below and then the side cubby tubs are my personal favorite because they take the carpeted side cubby and give it a large rubber tub to protect against spilling anything. On top of that, it includes a lid that covers the tub and perfectly blends it in with your interior. The one thing to note that I've found is that depending on your year of car, Tesla has changed these tub sizes, so I personally can only use the left tub on my Model Y. I still find even that to be worth it though because I'll clean up my car and put wet towels or anything in there and it doesn't affect any of my car's interior. Next is a simple accessory to improve the sentry mode and dash cam systems in the Model Y and 3. By default, a new Tesla comes delivered with a simple Tesla relabeled flash drive. It's 128 gigabytes, so depending on how much you drive, it can fill up pretty quickly, and it won't be quite as reliable as a solid state drive would be in your car. The Samsung T7 is the best SSD out there in my opinion, and it's an easy way to improve reliability and increase your storage to one or two terabytes in your Tesla. They also make a rugged version that I like a lot. That's linked below and takes about 10 seconds to set up. For both the Model Y and 3, they come with entirely glass roofs. The Model Y is one solid glass piece, while the Model 3 is split in two. They provide great views and have UV protection, but in the dead of summer, they can still be very hot. When I road trip to Arizona in April, the roof was letting in too much heat, so now I finally bought myself a roof shade. This roof shade is thin and easy to install. You clip it in and you have a totally shaded roof when you need it. If you always want your roof covered, then this may be something that you want to buy and keep on at all times. For someone like me though, I'll keep it off until I'm going on a longer road trip in the summer or finding myself getting too warm in the car too frequently. It's fairly easy to use and comes in different versions for the Model Y or Model 3. The next accessory is a small one, but has become essential for me, a simple large water bottle holder. I like to travel around with my 32 ounce water bottle, but there's almost nowhere to put this in a Tesla without having it far out of reach as a driver. This simple accessory fits into the cup holder, you tighten it into place and it holds a large water bottle very easily. Then when you have a normal cup size as well, the rubber flaps hold that in as well. I leave this in my car at all times and it has proven incredibly useful, it's linked below. The next accessory is a small one I thought I wouldn't use, but it's an armrest cover. This slides over the center armrest on the Model Y or 3, changes the color of it, and protects it. I actually like the all white look of this, and I like that this has gotten dirty for me to clean as opposed to the armrest itself integrated into the car. Long term, I can just replace this if anything happens to it. For sunglasses, Tesla doesn't include a good solution, and I've tried a few different ones here. My current favorite is this pretty simple sunglasses holder that Velcros. You can Velcro it to any of the carpeted areas of the Model 3 or Y, or you can use the included adhesive strips to attach it anywhere else. It's simple, easy to use, and effective, allowing you to store your sunglasses close but still out of sight. While we're in the process of seeing more and more automakers switching to Tesla's NACS connector, right now there are tons of third-party EV charging stations that Tesla owners can utilize if they have the right adapter. Electrify America, for example, may have a station on your route, but it comes with only CCS. That's where this adapter comes into play. Tesla makes a version of this and so does Electron for a bit less. They're both linked below and could help you have even more charging options for your Tesla. 
While Tesla's performance cars come with performance pedals, their most popular ones come with standard ones. If you want to have a little bit of a cooler look here and something that can be replaced when it wears out, these pedal covers are a great simple upgrade. Now those 3D Max Pider floor mats that I mentioned earlier do a great job of protecting the rear of your Model Y. But if you find yourself loading in cargo that could damage the rest of the car, like the seats themselves, or if you have a dog in your car, this pet cover could be perfect for you. It's a full seatback coverage liner designed specifically for the Model Y. As you can see, it will protect your car from pets, bikes, or anything else you may need, and it clips onto the headrests. As we're finishing up here, let's talk about all of the cleaning products I recommend. To keep your car in the best shape possible, you'll want a great exterior detailer, a window spray, and an interior cleaner along with some soft microfiber towels. If you plan to wash your car yourself, the best setup here is also a pressure washer, foam cannon, and two bucket wash setup. The versions of those that I have are all linked below in order, including each detailing spray I like best. They're great to keep on hand and store in some of the optimized areas your car may now have. So that's a lot of accessories, but in my experience, I've found pretty much all of these to be useful. Most of them are essential as well and have totally changed how I use my car. I also can't wait to check out some of the ones I just installed more over the coming weeks. As mentioned, everything is linked in the description below, and I hope this video was helpful for you. In the meantime, if you wanna see the latest Tesla news, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.